Hey everyone, welcome to the Horror Show. I'm Cecil Laird. I'm Rich Picker. And we are here to do a Christmas-themed horror movie review that was actually released on Hulu yep. as part of the Into the Dark series that they're doing. They've released mm -hmm. one episode a month since the series began in October. So there was a Halloween-themed episode, yep. a Thanksgiving-themed episode, yep. and now a Christmas-themed episode by the name of Puka. And this movie... Just to do our usual, you know, format of our overall thoughts, then we'll talk about the story, acting, effects, and everything in turn. But I, while the trailer intrigued me, I necessarily was, I wasn't necessarily like uber eager to watch the movie, but when I finally sat down to watch it, I really, really, really enjoyed this movie. I thought it was excellent. It was extraordinarily reminiscent of another movie. Uh, for sure, which I'll let Marsha take mention of when we do. But uh, overall, I really, really enjoyed this movie and will be revisiting it in the future, trying to show other people because it is, it, even though it felt so much like that other movie, it did it so well that I really still liked, uh, nay, I really actually loved Puka. I really enjoyed this movie. Marsha, your thoughts? So, one of the first things that came to mind when I watched this movie was Donnie Darko, mm -hmm. and but meets Christmas. Mm -hmm. um, so, I kept kind of getting pulled back into that while watching it. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of this movie. I think there was some good points, but um, it was still a little hokey and a little predictable for me. But just because... I'm not a big fan of Donnie Darko anyways. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just not. I'm mm. just not. I'm sorry. It's not my thing. <laughs> um, I know you're going to hate me. I'm sorry. Hail Donnie Darko. <laughs> whatever. But it's just, it's not my, it's not my jam. Okay. And so I feel like if I was a Donnie, Donnie Darko fan, I would enjoy <laughs> this a lot more. Okay. Um, because I am a huge Christmas fan and I like the take, merger. Take a half step to your left. Um, Both because framing but, and because I don't like your opinions right now. Oh, well, you know what you're going to do. Uh, but, yeah, I I thought they, they, <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, here's the <laughs> so, thing, guys. The, I'll, I'll give you the story and you guys can try and follow along on our thoughts here. I obviously really liked it. Marsha was not as much of a fan, but the story goes as follows. There is a man who is moved to a new city and is trying to you know make a go of it in this new city uh, as an actor and he has done stuff in the past but he's still a relatively unknown he goes to an audition and <coughs> he is basically rapidly cast uh, for the part of puka which mm -hmm. is the mascot for this new toy that is launching that has um, these sort of headlight-esque uh, eyes, rather, mm -hmm. that glow either blue or, or red, depending on whether it's good puka or bad puka. Right. One of the marketing gimmicks of puka is puka si, puka do, puka me, puka you. You never know what puka will do. Because the point is, he can either mimic what you say in a nice happy tone or mimic it in like a dark evil tone. Uh, and it's like, yeah. And it's it's so different that way. And so they hire this guy as the mascot not to ever have his identity revealed mm. specifically. And it becomes a phenomenon. These puka dolls... Uh, are shipped all across the world. So the Puka doll in the movie is actually much bigger, but uh, the uh, company actually did send us a, a, a little Puka doll right here that is representative of the Puka character. And I actually really like this doll. They sent it in this lovely little stocking for Christmas, um, which I did for the, uh, the release party sort of uh, video that we did. But honestly, I hadn't seen the movie because it was a release video that I did and I watched it and I love the movie and now I'm really happy with having a little puka doll because <laughs> it was really cool. I really like this character and so this guy is hired as this puka character and there's something off about him. We don't know much about his past and as he sort of becomes used to becoming the puka character, at first when he puts on the mask, he starts having sort of a breathing fit but he takes the job due to the money and eventually it gets like reversed where 
he has to put the mask on in order to stop hyperventilating. He becomes so reliant on the Puka character, but the Puka character is also seemingly doing things without his permission mm -hmm. and doing things out there of its own volition. Mm -hmm. And uh, all of it comes to a head by the end of the movie, and it is so well done. I just really, really enjoyed the story. I don't want to say any more for, feel, uh, for fear of... Uh, you know, ruining it for you right. guys, but so you weren't as impressed with how everything played out, huh? No. What, what bothered you about it? I don't know. I mean, it was really close to Donnie Darko. And by the it, end, it was. It was really close, and and I kind of caught on really quickly. Like, I still what like was how happening. it played out, though. I mean, I knew where it was going. I mean, I didn't know exactly how it was going to end because mm -hmm. you're never you're never really for sure until it actually plays out. Like how they're going to do it, but I had some inkling of... Look at all the pretty lights. Yeah. I like that a lot. I thought it was haunting. It, I did. I had Because it was so close to Donnie Darko, I had an idea that what the twist was going to be. I, did, I didn't see it coming. I, I It got me. Mar, Chunk Marshall have to be in smarter than me as far as Puka goes because... <sighs> I didn't see it coming like you yeah. did. I really, it I just, just washed over me. I feel, there was a lot of like different signs um, that kept coming back that I'm like, mm. and I think as soon as I saw that the outline of Puka in the dark, and I was like, oh. <laughs> here we go, here we go. But um, I mean, there were some things they did really well. I mean, the idea does work, mm -hmm. um, you know, and the acting was, okay it wasn't the best it wasn't the best it wasn't the best um uh, but they they really they did a good job with like the cinematography the, mm -hmm. and um you know if you're gonna have a haunting toy like it would be puka mm -hmm. um and in the time lapses that they do it's very interesting i just i just i'm just not a big fan of that type of movie so puka. i had a hard time with it yeah <laughs> well, that's fair. It's a fair criticism. I just really enjoyed it. Um, the effects, as far as the effects go, it was practical. There wasn't mm -hmm. a huge, it wasn't like a big effects party, but the effects you got were practical and involving the suit was actually very creepy in a lot of those effects. Yeah, there was some really creepy moments. There was one really specific creepy moment involving the puka head that was like, oh, okay. Like, why was that even necessary? Why do we even have to go there? Because it sticks in your mind. Ugh. <laughs> not necessary. Well, maybe like not American necessary. It's like American Horror Story it, all over again. It's I, like, you don't need that episode. Eh, I don't know. I liked it all. I really enjoyed this movie. It's not going to crack my top five, I don't think. But it, it actually is pretty close. You know, I for, really enjoyed it. I, I thought it was, it was a good... For the holiday season, mm -hmm. there wasn't a lot coming out this year. So it was refreshing to see something come out. Uh, to add into like the 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 Christmas horror, and it played um, into the jingle all the way of it all with mm -hmm. the, the scarce toy. Right, right. So I I do appreciate that because when we were thinking about all the the stuff that's coming around the, this holiday season, like what are we gonna what are we gonna watch? What are we gonna review? Mm -hmm. And it's like, well, it's just Puka, so let's watch it. Let's do it. And I'm glad you did enjoy it because you I were did. really hesitant about it. And I then was. I was all like, I've no actually liked not. all three of those Hulu Into the Dark movies. The Body, Flesh and Bone, mm -hmm. and Puka. I, I like Puka the most, but Flesh and Bone was really, really solid. I haven't watched that one. I think I you'll did like watch, that one. I did watch The Body. What did you think watched. of The Body? I thought The Body was interesting. All right, I think we might was, need to do a review of that. Yeah, it, it was a lot more along the lines of the acting wasn't quite there, but the, but the... All right, we'll do that review. We'll do that review. The minus set was there, so... All right, well, that's going to do it for our review of Puka, you guys. Let us know in the comments down below. Did you actually watch this? It is available <laughs> on Hulu right now, <laughs> but go and check it out if it at all watch strikes it. you as interesting. I really liked it, Marsha. It didn't tickle her fancy, but it is, I have to admit, very Donnie darko like yeah so. if, you, if you like donnie darko you probably really appreciate this movie indeed indeed so let us know in the comments down below what do you guys think of this movie do you have thoughts on it or are you or are you not interested in it and let us know why i want to get that conversation going but until next time i've been cecil laird i'm marsh Parker. and remember stay, stay scared, scared.